the very first image I had for the book was of a man and a woman meeting um, and having so much to say to each other but not being able to say it. And this pair became Rachel and Jonathan Allen. So they were the, the very first beginnings of the story. Uh, she came into my head just as she does in the story, walking barefoot, a child with no past and no family. But you know, she's very, she's very strong and she's very resilient. Um, and I think there are times when I could be a bit more like her, but I'm not very much like that at all. Rachel, on the other hand, is a much more quiet and introverted woman. Um, she's been raised with in a good family, a gentle gentleman's house, so she relies very much on her manners and her knowledge of society to, to cope. When events are extraordinary and when she can't rely on, on these social structures, she's very much out of her depth and has to adjust very quickly and is, is quite uncomfortable. So I sympathise with her a lot and I can identify more with Rachel than, than Starling, I think. The whole of, of history is interesting to me um, and I think it's mainly because whilst people haven't changed at all, trying to understand uh, why they do the things they do and why they think the things they think um, is something that's just endlessly fascinating to me. So uh, this history, this era of history um, was not one I had studied before, so I very much enjoyed doing the research and learning about it and trying to put my thoughts into that mindset. Yes, working as a housekeeper was was quite useful. I didn't realise it at the time, but uh, it was such an unusual situation to be in uh, for someone who was brought up in a classless uh, society, or I thought a uh, classless household certainly, to experience working as a servant and the frustrations of feeling trapped in that situation, uh, and also just not being treated with the respect that I thought I deserved as a human being. Um, it wasn't necessarily a very happy job for me, but I've been able to use the experience to understand when I write a character who's working in service, what, how that might have affected them and how that might have frustrated them. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I can't believe how successful the books have been in Germany and around Europe. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I never expected this. I always said um, for a long time I wasn't published. I always said that as long as one day my book was in a bookstore, I wouldn't mind if I only sold five copies and had to keep working in my day job. So to have this success now and be able to write for my living is, is a dream come true.